Does TFT deserve its own client? Recently, there's been a huge stir about Set 11's abysmal balance, with even the dev team acknowledging a patch was bad before it even shipped. That was for patch 14.10, but every single patch of set 11 has had a B patch so far. Now, this is mostly due to TFT's patch cadence adhering to the same infrastructure as League of Legends, wherein patches are made over the course of a week and then localized in the next, hence a two-week patch cycle. But the TFT meta is ever evolving and this single week is enough to completely flip it on its head, like we saw with Fated Dried and what we're currently seeing with Duelist. This in particular has irritated many players because it feels like Riot is treating TFT as just another League of Legends game mode. Now of course, if TFT had its own client, then they could theoretically ship much better patches at a superior cadence that better suits how quickly TFT can evolve. However, after considering every factor, it is easy to conclude that TFT will never get its own dedicated client. It just won't happen. But why? Aren't there other issues a dedicated client would fix? In turn, what player base are people drastically underestimating? And is it true that TFT doesn't deserve its own client? But before we get into that, remember to subscribe. So first off, balance is not the only issue a dedicated client would address. For example, technical issues may be reduced, especially regarding the recent addition of Vanguard to League of Legends, which has carried over to TFT. I have heard that Vanguard has caused numerous issues such as incompatibility, false bans, and outright just breaking some PCs. Although that could just be internet fear mongering as those claims haven't exactly been verified. In fact, in Riot's own Vanguard article, they say that false positive bans are usually the fault of the user and not Vanguard, citing reasons such as deception, boosting or malware. Regardless, compatibility issues are very genuine as those who use Linux or virtual machines are no longer able to play TFT due to Vanguard. And the Riot client has depreciated support for older systems for League of Legends. Meanwhile, TFT is a mobile game that should still be able to run on those systems. So for many, this is perplexing as they wonder if TFT truly needs an anti-cheat, needs Vanguard, or even needs to be in the right client as Vanguard hinders their experience. And if you're curious on why so many players have such disdain for Vanguard, it's for a relatively simple reason. Vanguard operates in the system's kernel, and within this kernel, programs have unrestricted access to the system's resources. So Vanguard technically has access to everything and the power to do anything on and to your system. And it's important to note that usually the only other program that has kernel level access is your operating system. But the key detail here is that your operating system is crucial for your device to function, whereas Vanguard is unequivocally not. So this boils down to having blind faith in Vanguard and in turn right, such control over your system and to not compromise either your system or any of your personal information. And as Riot confirmed in the same article, Vanguard will continue to run any time your PC is active, even if you're not playing a Riot game. This is unlike any other kernel level anti-cheat as they don't usually monitor what you do outside of their game. But by far the biggest reason is that even if Riot don't have any malicious intent, there is still the potential that someone else does and compromises company secrets such as the source code for their games or their anti-cheat. Both of which has happened before in the social engineering attack on Riot Games in January of 2023, where the entirety of the source code for League of Legends, TFT and Riot's legacy anti-cheat was stolen. In that case, it would be possible for whomever to use that for their personal gains. So essentially, Vanguard has the potential to allow someone, be it Riot or otherwise, to access and compromise your entire system. That aside, another massive problem are those balance issues that have been seemingly rampant in set 11 with numerous B patches. And players, especially those that are competitive, feel like these patches tend to miss the mark as they don't really address the current meta, but rather a weak old meta. Now this is a problem because players are getting better at the game. And through the use of guides, stats, websites or otherwise, they can rapidly adapt to the latest oppressive comp and spam it for more people to see who then do the same. This optimization can make TFT metas spread like wildfire. As an example, it usually takes me, as an individual, around a week of playing the patch on PBE before it drops on live server to fully understand how it will impact the meta. But due to the existence of meta websites that use Riot's API to acquire data and create statistics, that meta can be solved in as little as a few hours. The dev team or players like myself can spend the entire week prior to the patch release testing it, but that testing time will get immediately surpassed by players once the patch releases due to their sheer number. 
Honestly, I feel like one entire week of dev testing is probably less than one hour of player time on the live server. This in turn means that while the two week patch cycle is suitable for League of Legends as it doesn't really vastly change in that time period, the same cannot be said for TFT as it can and will rapidly change in a matter of hours. But despite all the aforementioned reasons, I will just proclaim now that TFT does not need and likely will never have its own clients. And there's numerous reasons for this. First of which being that the exposure and accessibility TFT gets from being in the same client as League of Legends is massive. League of Legends is one of the biggest games in the whole world. And for so many League players, being one click away and consisting of familiar characters is incredibly compelling for those players to play TFT. Many players have the main games like League of Legends or Valorant, games that are in established genres that they can come back to consistently. However, TFT is not like those games. It's not flashy, you're not going to get flick headshots, and there's no huge team fight that you can mechanically outplay your opponents. There is no muscle memory in TFT. TFT is one of the purest forms of a knowledge-based game we have right now. And for many players, that is a deterrent. In any shooter, you generally know what you're doing, which is to click heads. Meanwhile, in MOBAs, your aim is usually to take the enemy base. Most games are pretty standard and have transferable skills. If you've ever played a shooter before, then you can probably do well in other shooters that you'd never played before. But in TFT, you need to assemble the best board of units that completely refresh every four months. Just because you played an auto battler before does not ensure you start TFT at a decent starting point like in other genres. There's just so much knowledge and depth to this game. Having said that, people who have main games like League of Legends and Valorant still queue the occasional TFT game to burn time which is due to TFT being in the same clients as League and the same game launcher as Valorant. This ecosystem right to have around TFT guarantees its lifeblood and will always ensure its prosperity as millions more players have access to TFT through the shared clients. In fact, there are those that attribute the downfall of Legends of Runeterra to the lack of any connection in the main client. And it's also worth mentioning how TFT and League of Legends share assets. This increases the efficiency of each set's production as TFT has instant access to whatever the League team is cooking, like a new model for Skarna, Lee Sin, or Teemo, I think Teemo's next. However, while this efficiency is great, it doesn't ultimately address or resolve the issues we've been having with balance especially with players and even the dev team condemning a patch before it was even released. Now, while I do understand, as a TFT player, that patches seem doomed on release, because issues aren't being addressed, certain comps are still OP, and bugs continue to persist. However, I think it's even worse if the set changes too frequently and players are left bewildered. And when you've hit that point, you start not enjoying the game and you don't understand why. Honestly, a two-week patch cycle is phenomenal, regardless of game. The communication Riot have with their players for both League of Legends and TFT is unprecedented. I mean, I've mentioned it on stream, but I used to be a dedicated Rainbow Six Siege player, but I became increasingly frustrated at how Ubisoft made changes whilst not really communicating anything. I mean, the latest season is a clear example of that, where numerous players are frustrated and perplexed at how the new season lacks any real substance. Nonetheless, Riot's patch frequency is at another level amongst other giants. Balancing such layered kits or systems in both League of Legends and TFT is a Herculean task, and the fact that Riot make balance changes every two weeks and communicate the reasonings and motivations behind them must be commended, especially when you consider how difficult it is to balance such layered and complex mechanics, kits, and systems. Attempting to rectify these issues every two weeks is great, honestly. And I mentioned it before, but as any game gets older, players optimize how they play the game, which makes balance issues more apparent. But it is truly a blessing to have that level of transparency that no other player base has any comparison to. And TFT has such a good infrastructure because it is piggybacking off League of Legends. Truthfully, while balance issues do slip through the cracks, I'll gladly take that than having no changes at all. I mean, it's not as if waiting two weeks is that much of a problem anyway. Nevertheless, perhaps the biggest reason TFT will never get its own client is that it would just take too much resource to make. It will take a significant amount of time to rebuild TFT from scratch and expect it to work as intended. And that's not even factoring in the development of future sets and how messy that can get in conjunction with the new engine. For example, set 14 started production a month or so ago. Should set 14 move to the new client or should it stay in the original? What bugs could crop up from this? Is it even feasible and would it even be compatible on devices? When you amalgamate these issues, it just isn't worth it for Riot in any way or regard. Too much time, money, and effort gets expended to replace something that already works. Realistically, Riot have probably already considered a dedicated client for TFT, but they will likely never proceed with that notion as there is just far too much risk with practically no reward associated with it. 
And ultimately, even if TFT did have its own client, that would not make the patching process any faster because TFT is also a mobile game. And of course, any and all TFT patches don't just ship to PC, but all platforms including mobile. From what I've heard, mobile apps need in the regions of around a week in advance for patches to get approved and shipped to the platform. So even if TFT did have its own client, that would not address the delays caused by the mobile process. And to those that say that Riot should prioritize the PC platform, the mobile player base is huge and doing that would be a massive disservice to them. So with all things considered, I am of the opinion that while a dedicated TFT client would be nice, in the long run it is just better to share a client with League of Legends. TFT's future is very volatile. Every set completely changes the game every 4 months, and having reassurance in TFT's success is great. And I for one am glad TFT doesn't patch extremely frequently, as I don't think I can keep up with the game in that case. I mean I've already been somewhat struggling with set 11. Although I will say that if you do have compatibility issues or you don't want Vanguard near your PC, then I have heard some players use a mobile emulator to play TFT on their PC, so that is one thing you could consider. But yeah, with that I will end the video. And I'd like to ask, what do you think? Do you think TFT deserves a dedicated client? Do the pros outweigh the cons or vice versa? And how huge do you reckon the mobile player base is? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe. Anyway, check out these other videos if you want to see more from me. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.